All right, guys, Ian Anderson, Corey, and Merle, Central Coast Disc Golf. We are back again. 2018 Canadian Nationals, round two, part two. Got a fantastic lead card. It's been a fun watch so far on this Huck It course. Ooh, I like it. Kind of the uh, nod to Hauk, maybe? Huck, in the, Huck in It, the Huck design. It. Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it does have a similar vibe as Hillcrest. Yeah. And a lot of these guys out here in PEI, that's the only course they've ever even seen. I know, right? So it's like that is the token disc golf course that you're going to model it on. Yeah, their first course was a Ferrari. Yeah. Their first car was a Ferrari, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah their starter car. Uh huh. That's hilarious. Too funny. Hole 10, uh, it's just right there, but that's a tiny any little out. You can see how wide the uh, the tree eating machine is. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, right. right? Cut it straight through the, through the thicket. Um, this one does feature the Hauk style multi fairways, though kind of senselessly in this one. Yeah. Uh, everyone is throwing the center gap, but on the little T sign, there is two other fairways that no one will ever play. There's one off to the right? Yeah, look at the sign. Oh, you're right. How funny. Sex and piping a destroyer. Ripping that thing. That's, that's all swirly, too. He throws that backhand usually. That was laced. That was crushed. It was beautiful. That is not a big gap. That's it's one of those, like I felt like this. It released from his hand, and then you blinked your eye, and it was past the basket. He yeah. threw it so hard. It was humming. Perkins oh. tries to bite that off, but it just comes out anied. Yeah, a little bit too over on it. We talked about that wrist roll. There yeah, it is. You saw it. Uh, Casey is going for a felon. Yes. Oh, felon. I like that. A little more turn on it would have been nice, but yeah. he's past. He's up there, yeah. and that's half the battle on this one. It is. When when I was walking up, all I could think of was like, "Where's J.C. Kester? Where's Joe Revere? Oh my! Why are goodness. we not throwing this over the top?" Right? Uh, Chandler going explorer. Ooh, opt oh. variety. Yeah, that one kicked way left, all, all the right. way through the thicket into the into the uh, subsidiary. It, thickets? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there it looks like a firebird upshot from Mr. Perkins. That will par. Whoa! Yeah. Chandler getting creative, a little harp forehand out. Oop. I thought I had a chance out of his hand, but... I thought I had a chance to hit me. Also that. <laughs> I was so close. I'm down for the entertainment value. <laughs> I'm not. On an upshot, you could take it, Corey. Uh -huh. Casey? A drive, I'd feel bad. Um, Casey gave it a bit, but he's going to par. Uh, Sexton coming back for the birdie. So like an upshot on a par four. It's fine. Firebird to the face. I'm not... All right, I feel you. I see how it is, Ian. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Come to PEI and I get... Throwing under the bus. You've never been hit. You're just like Fouché, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> There's Chandler uh, cleaning up his par. It's a good par save after that drive. It is. I mean, it kicked him really into a rough spot. It was mm -hmm. a good... Uh, that flick, Annie, is not a shot everyone has. No. <laughs> dude, get out of here, Casey. <laughs> that butt, dude. I can't even handle Listen, it. Listen, love the kid. I would like to see it a little smoother. I'd like to see it a little smoother. Pretty tense on the putt. But, <laughs> hey, he's putting him in. It's hard to complain. Doing work. There's Perkins with his par save. And... Here is Nate with the uh, solo bird. Out of the woods, not what I was expecting. The solo bird, especially with a couple guys who can throw sidearms pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, really, you said it's a small gap, but it's kind of staring you right in the face. That's I'm right. Surprised to see that Perkins didn't hit it. Yeah, uh, Nate is now your new leader. Who to thunk? Me. A lot of people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Chandler's good. Though. Chandler's great. And so Chandler's great. And they're actually traveling together, so it's kind of got a funny yeah, yeah. dynamic, yeah. right? They're like going Tra home, like, travel buddy Arr. battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hole 11. Kind of a really cool shape on this one, Corey. It is. And it, it it's a shape that makes 0% backhand. You cannot throw a backhand to the pin. It has to be a flex side. That's so funny. They were saying, maybe James Conrad with that yes, green with putter. The putter. The it green was the one. only person that could throw that. You yeah. are absolutely right. That's hilarious. Yeah. So Sexton with a Sexton bird. I think he's thrown it like 90% of his drive so far. Yeah. Well, when it's flying perfectly every time, what Why are you not? supposed to do? Yeah. That one maybe needed a little more height. And to pan out. And a little less angle, I think. Yeah, yeah. But, oh well. It'll par easily. Uh -huh. Perkins, ooh, cuts the corner. For some reason, that one looked a little bit more peachy than his Firebird. Am it I did. crazy? Yeah, well, maybe, looked, maybe yeah. the lighting. Go back to the Enforcer well. KC. It's 289 feet, guys. You don't have to throw it that hard. Uh, it seems like it's playing longer. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they're just trying to get over on those overstable discs. I think that's probably more of the case. Whoa. And Chandler. That was laced. That was. Oh, into the tree. Ben did not even move a muscle and that hit five feet from him. <laughs> was this gold line stiletto? There is Nate just laying over his par. You can see how new this course is. Just look at the ground. Yeah, it's freshly mulched. Yeah. They said they laid the baskets in like less than weeks ago. Wow. 250 man hours in the past week alone. Unbelievable. Oh, Ooh, good. Good bid there. It sure was. Kind of subtle for par though. Casey, look, it's got the harp. Mm. 
Whoa. Hey, oh. no, settle. No, hopefully that'll par. No, well, Sexton got closer than I thought. Yeah, actually. Kind of burned into the ground, but he's got an 80 footer. Mm hmm. Wow. That was looking for the 180. That was. That wasn't the dart, though. That wasn't the dart? No. He th the P2? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Who is this, Nathan? I know, man. Good putt, Casey. Good cleanup. Mm-hmm. Chandler coming back for his par. Well done, sir. Putts that with shields. Those burst ones, though, it feels like he's worn every bit of burst off of those putters. Really? It's hilarious. That's funny. I didn't know it faded. I didn't know it either, and I don't even know if it does, but that one looks like it's hit so many things that, like, a layer of the burst has come off. If you look at it, it just looks so worn, like he's hit so many putts. Hmm. It's funky looking. He does hit a lot of putts. Good hot pace on Casey. <laughs> Clean release. Good color on this one, too. Nice try, yeah. Brian. Really popping. The gang looks on as everyone pars. Uh, Sexton still with one stroke lead over Chandler, who's one clear of Nate. Hole 12 on deck. Oof, this one can get on top of you really quickly. Um, it, it's a hole that can either play as a really soft par four or just brutal if you kick into the woods. Oh man. Um, at 515 feet, you can probably throw a 315 to 330 foot turnover shot maybe to get yourself into that mouth of the woods. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you're looking at 200 foot to the basket. Um, really though, centered up fairway is way more the priority than getting the distance. All right. If you can just throw a putter to the corner and then you just have a 300 foot straight shot, you're in business. Yeah, you'll trade 50 feet of distance for being in the fairway. Absolutely. Sexton, this looks just so pure. Perfect? That is perfect. Yes. Like, I don't think you could throw a forehand better on this hole. Exactly. I mean, th to not have it skip into the woods, to have it mm -hmm. check up into the center, that's, yeah. that's prime. That's fantastic. Uh, Perkins going Firebird as well. And working... Oh, oh uh, I, honestly, honestly, I think he'll take that because that, if it gets clean, is probably flaring into yeah, the woods. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, this is a felon from Casey. This is a little early. Uh -oh. Okay, well, it's, uh, it didn't kick him into the nasty nasty. He's but just he's, in the initial nasty. Yeah, that's still natural OB territory. Mm -hmm. uh, Zion from Chandler. So pretty. Ooh. Well, clean the whole way. Yeah. Kind of off the fairway a little he, bit, but not he that. He is into that distance, though, where the distance has cut down on the technicality. Yeah. He's got it far enough up there. Sure. Uh, Casey just smartly pitches out as far as he can. Yeah. Should be able to get up and down from there. Yep. The second you get off this fairway, it's just get your four. Get mm -hmm. out of here. Yeah. Nate, got a clean alley to the basket. Yeah, with a putter in his hand. Mm hmm. Ooh, oh. that thing is stable. Is that that probably a P3X if yeah. I had to guess. I yeah. don't know exactly, but it does fly like one. Mm -hmm. He's so. got a, he's got a putt at it, but I'm sure he wishes he was closer. Here is a dart from Nate. There you go, Nathan. Great shot, isn't it? Pure, just such good command on that disc. I don't get it. Yeah, two great shots, and now he doesn't have to worry about the third. Uh, Chandler's going to harp out and kind of. Kind of leaves it out there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think he's just more more concerned about making the gap there. Casey. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's what you guys were looking at. Right? It was dancing, wasn't it? Super weird. Yeah. Everyone thought it was going to the trees on the left, and then it just dove right for the basket. Ooh. Good putt. That thing was dead center the whole way on a line. Such a good look right there. Nice job, Chandler. I'm telling you, man, that, that guy can spin a putter. Mm-hmm. Here is uh, Perkins with his birdie look. Should be no worries. Nate, I said uh, that was no worries. He's worried. He was. That was an unfortunate miss from him. Uncharacteristic. Yeah, and that's just that's a testament to that upshot just being slightly longer than mm -hmm. you want. You yeah. know, you leave yourself to 30 foot, and that putting percentage goes down from, what, 95 to 86? And that's that 9% miss. There it is. Chandler Fry, you baller. Just over the bucket. Mm. Fist pump. Let's go. Style points for days. There are the birds. Uh, Saxon still holds on to that one stroke lead, though, with that really nice birdie. Yep. Keeping pace, travel buddies. We are on to hole 13, 378 foot. Slight hyzer the entire way. Really, you're looking for something understable that's going to kind of like hole 8, where you want that understable on hyzer, flip up and glide on in. Yep. Um, not not one that these guys are too scared of, 
as they all throw really clean backhands, though. So hopefully they can chalk up the birdie. And here is the uh, Mako 3 from Nate. No, I don't believe it. He doesn't throw backhand <laughs> mid-ranges, or mid-ranges in general. That's a, that's one around so far. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe through threw the, the rock on like 15 I, or 16 yesterday. I still don't believe that was a rock, but... <laughs> I saw it. I seen it. That's great. That's a great shot. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to question the mid range when you throw it like that. <laughs> throw more often. That's just that's just a hater approver. It is. Chandler. He Probably is. All the explorer is my guess. You guessed correctly. I knew is it. These exploders, they fly really good. They aren't quite as stable um, as maybe the top guys are looking for in like a hammering disc, but is if you're not like a hard, hard thrower, it is exactly what you want in a fairway. Yeah, check them out. Oh, Perkins with a good-looking line until it hit that tree. Going to have a long putt. And uh, Casey is going criminal off the tee. Oh, so kind of opposite uh, opposite direction of some of these guys. Explorer and criminal. Yeah, Super stable. See how stable that thing was. Mm -hmm. uh, kicked a tree. Gave him a very long look. And we know he was running it because his hands tell the truth. <laughs> shoot, 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 oh, nope. Perkins, little forehand upper. Good shot. Yep. I'll clean up his par. Chandler, pretty long look for the two. Ooh. I felt like he was picking it up because he knew it was in. He knew it was not in. Yeah, he did. And a Sexton stroke on the card right there. I feel like if he drives with a Mako 3, he should have to putt with that thing just to clean just all of it. If you're making a birdie, it's a Mako 3 birdie. <laughs> Dig it. Chandler coming back for his par, trying to keep that stroke, stroke lost to one. That was a firm 18 footer yeah. just lit up in there that was, that was, <laughs> a, that was an anger part yeah you could tell he's <laughs> yep. frustrated yep losing another stroke to the touring buddy mm -hmm. uh, we saw uh patrick brown and johnny mccray battling it out uh, a few times up in silver cup uh out huh? they were traveling together and it's like they're the two highest rated masters by like 20 points and funny. they're just battling with each other and then going to the same hotel each night then battling each other and going to the same hotel <laughs> gotta be a funny vibe right yeah uh there is the solo bird from nate uh, working himself into a two-stroke lead. The Dynamic Discs Golden Retriever is a fantastic tool for getting your discs back when they've strayed a little too far from dry ground. With a compact design, it fits easily in your bag so it's always there when you need it. Using a Golden Retriever can speed up pace of play and save you from having to jump in yourself. We have a 100% guarantee you'll be satisfied. If you're not, return it in a usable condition for a full refund. For a little extra confidence next time you're throwing over water, make sure you're covered with a Golden Retriever. All right, guys, we are back to the action. Got to thank DD for sponsoring this great tournament. Benjamin Smith, DD, for doing just amazing work out here. Absolutely, and you got to thank them for making the getaway. But I need one, Ian. I don't have one in my possession, and I see people throwing it, and it looks like the perfect disc for me. DD, hook it up. <laughs> so shameless. <laughs> oh, shameless plug. <laughs> Whole 14 par 4. This thing, man. Oh, Whew. gosh. This is just insanity. Um, the way that they cut in the hole, I'm sure he was imagining throwing down the fairway, but anybody who's anybody is just throwing this absolutely ridiculous over the top shot yeah. and then just hoping. Yeah. Sexton's playing a little bit safer, just going for the forehand destroyer shot, uh, aiming for the fairway. Um, but this pin is reachable with a big, crazy Annie. Annie, yeah, yeah but it's also f like in the forestable. Like yeah. you just throw the Annie and then deal with the result. Oh my gosh, that was turned over. Yeah, that was the flow. He actually turns this into a roller. Was that intentional? Negative. Okay, yeah. well, he'll take it. That's <laughs> the best drive I've seen. Yeah, it worked out. It's gonna have a line of yeah. Just Annie rollers. Okay, whatever. Throwers work sometimes. Yep, that looks like that. PD two. Indeed. Hucking it way up there. That's the safe line, just throwing the hyzer into the top of this hill and then approaching from there. Yeah. Uh, but really, you know, the, you can do it. It is possible. Mm -hmm. Casey is going Explorer. And it seems like it's turning pretty good. that is starting to fade before you want it to. Yeah. Get back. Uh, he's over there. He's on the path. Yep, Ooh, right that, there. Yep, like, that's the that's kids disc golf right there. That's the guy who runs kids disc golf. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, met him out at MVP. Good dude. Right on. Perkins, second shot. Got to get across this creek and close to the pyramid. Hopefully. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it was tracking until it it really didn't. But at least it did clear the OB creek, yes. which we failed to mention. That creek is out of bounds. It is. Yeah. So that's really the biggest thing that's gonna start stacking up the strokes on you. Sexton flexing a sexton over there. 
That was a nice little flex then. <laughs> Casey is second shot. Gonna, it's not clean over there. And he finds a tree, and he's about a foot short of the water. Ooh, okay. I was yeah. worried. And Chandler found himself in any line with his harp. Great. Perfect. And, quote, rule of verticality. I know. You play it from up top. Yeah. So he's playing from the ramp. So I was under the impression that was not a real rule. I guess the TD talked about it before. He did. He's like, if you're under, you can play it. But yeah. I, I was talking to some guys. They showed me a thing in the rule book that says if your lie is – sitting there you can play it on top or below really yeah but i was under the impression it didn't exist i thought it was a fake thing too so did i but they pulled it up i mean it says like 801 blah 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 c all right we'll buy it yeah whatever that's what they're selling i thought it was kind of funny he said rule of verticality in the players meeting i'm like ben you know that it's not a real thing (laughs) he's a td for the brian give me a break get out of our shot jeez (laughs) louise dude so selfish there's our beautiful (laughs) beautiful slow-mo maker brian guys there's casey hitting a good putt as does Perkins hits his comeback par, and it's a it's a travel buddy birdie hole. Travel buddy birdie hole. Say yeah. that five times fast. <laughs> oh my goodness! He almost on. Nate's like those those scare me so much. Well, he puts from really low angle too. With oh, the, with you're the, right. With the, uh, pitch put or with the the straddle. Mm-hmm. Here's discussing the rule of verticality. It's like take it right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That makes it a drop in. That is a really cool pin position. Though. I really like. I mean, you could tell they put a lot of love. Brian trying to sneak out of the frame. They put a lot of love in that. Yep. Oh, look at that photogenic Chandler as he's throwing. The best hug face. He's smiling. <laughs> Does, you, you can't have a better hug face. It's than like a, the Reddit big... photogenic like EMT dude or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sexton and Chandler. Some nice birdies there, separating from the crew. Uh, pulling away a little bit from Perkins. Yep, that hole did play four strokes over par for the field, or not four strokes, a oh, point four strokes <laughs> okay. over par, excuse me. Uh, so these guys are doing their job to take that average down. Uh, 15, though, plays significantly easier, 0.31 under, 2.69 average. Okay. And considering that our field isn't the strongest field on the planet, that's really easy for these guys. Yeah, it is. I think Nate is going dart. It I was, think so right? yeah. as well. Yeah. I mean, it's 212 feet just uphill. All you want to do is throw it straight. Yep. That's 160. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Chandler going with the harp. It's funny, man. You know, Simon, he's such a good dart player that, like, if you're playing 501, 301, he doesn't even need to, like, do any mental math. He just knows, oh, I'm at 165. Oh, I need a triple seven of this and of that. He's played that many. He's, he is a, that man's a bar game whiz kid. <laughs> I did not know that about yes. him. Cool fact. Oh, yeah. No, he's the best pool player on tour, too. Really? Yes. I heard him and Jerry from a yeah, jo- from Jomez. Jomez go back. Yeah. And Brian, our Brian is a competitive pool player too. I would love to see that triple like pool Ooh, action. Dang. Yep. Casey with the harp flirting with that tree. That ends up great. It's a great shot. Not to be overlooked is Chandler's under the basket shot. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Nice uh, shot there. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> there is Sexton cleans up the birdie. Casey as well. And Man, that son get a bigger lens hood. There is a star frame in the making though. Yeah, I mean that hole is that hole is as easy as hole four is difficult. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. everyone is reaching this one, whereas on hole four, no one is. It's a beautiful slow mo from Mister Geis as always. Mm-hmm. Love that guy. Deuces all around. Well done, game. Just like the day after a bad chili cook off, oh we're God. not at a deuces. Oh my God. <laughs> Who hired you? <laughs> Hole 16, part 3, 325. This one's just right there. You really got to get it. It is. Uh, it's short, dumpy, 325. Eh, it does not feel like 325. That might be an illegitimate number. Um, yeah, it feels like 250. It feels extremely short. Yeah. We'll see what they got for us. When you're standing on it, you could throw a thumber if you're incapable of throwing backhands. Um, but really, that gap right in front of you, just throw the slow disc. I'm sure he's throwing a dart right here. I think it's a rock, actually. Is it? Yeah. No. Pretty sure, man. No. He doesn't throw mid-ranges. Uh, no, I believe you. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was really solid. Yeah. Uh, Chandler, though, looks like he's going with the harp. It's the advanced route. Yeah. He's going to need an advanced putt. He is. That is for sure. He's got about a 45, 50-footer coming up. This Na- maniac Nathan. This maniac Nathan. <laughs> The accent makes it too. I know. Oh yeah, I know. It really. It, that's what it's all about. Whoa! 
Yeah, he, he goosed this one. He, MD3? He, probably. Probably. Yeah, he read that T sign 325. And yeah, he put it 325. <laughs> put it closer to that. Might have been his Mick Glow rock, too. I'm not sure. Casey, he is going with a, a wa- tree. warden in, oh. into a tree. Yeah. Now he's going harp. Warden's putter, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Good shot, Casey. Yeah, good nice. recovery. Yep. Chandler. Oh! Wow. Yes, sir. That was not short. That was probably closer to 55 60. Yeah, and that was hanging up in the air wide right. Yeah. Great look. Uh, Perkins, after going long, has this comeback look for the two. Yes, sir. Ooh. Another jumper. Put on a show. Man. We get out of the woods and they get a gallery. These guys are yeah. going to impress. They're trying to entertain some nice Canadians. Sexton, not to be left out. Also wants the two. Yay. Oh, well, they got to leave Casey out? <laughs> they they kind of did. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Casey left himself, himself out. out. Yeah, yeah. Does, that is actually very fair. Yeah. Uh, but it does clamp the par at least. And here is that money putt from Chandler. The Chanimal. A little step putt. Yeah, follow him on Instagram. Chanimal oh, something. That's so great. Yeah, I know. I like that. It's solid, solid. Not to be game. confused with Candler Fry or Chandler Free. Yes. All three separate people. <laughs> And it's not like his totally. name's hard to spell. No, it's fry, like fries. Or yeah. how about Google? Yeah. Yeah. Also helps. Hole 17, par 3, 4, 4, 5. Uh, OB left, Corey? OB left. So really kind of similar to that hole 4. Yeah. Um, plays a little bit downhill, though, this one. Mm-hmm. Um, we are have we do at this point have a pretty good left to right wind, um, and you're gonna be able to tell from the banner, the DD banner is just ripping out there in the background. You can kind of see it down by the pin. Yeah. Uh, Sexton's going destroyer. Of the team stamp variety. This one's flippy, and it's, it's getting pushed, too. Yep. I kicked the wrong way off that tree. Yeah, I just kicked him right down into the Valley of Doom. Yep. Chan- Chan- oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say Chandler is throwing an Explorer. Ooh, okay. Ooh, a little bit over on it, too. You can see it drifting. Yep. Into the woods with Nate. Yep. See how Mr. Perkins does. Destroyer? Yeah, have to imagine if he's yeah. hammering on it backhand. Mm-hmm. But again, just really, they have to get a little bit of an ante to get the distance on it. Mm-hmm. But that ante with the left to right wind is just not going to be friendly. That's true. And they also don't want to miss left and go. Exactly. Go so they're making the good mistake. They are, yeah. Uh, Casey's got it in a forcer. He is. Oh, oh that's, that's a, a very friendly tree. Yeah, that was a very nice kick out of those trees. Oh, he's still pretty far, though. Mm-hmm. And here is Casey. We know that's a putt. <laughs> Nice upshot. And, okay, I think. That's Nate with the orange. Perkins. Oh, yeah. Sorry, excuse yeah. me. That's, yeah. that's Discomaniac Nate. Then this is Inoviac Nate. The champion's choice Nate. Oh. I don't know. I'm trying to think of yeah. Innova branding. Yeah. And Chandler. Look at that banner, dude. I know. What is so, happening? Somebody grab that thing. Somebody get those bottom circles engaged. Yeah. There's a bunch of threes. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Isn't it? And wacky waving the inflatable arm flailing tube man style. Yeah. But that wind kept the mosquitoes down. Oh, it's true. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. It, when, when we were flying drones, it was like horrifying to fly the drone. I got, it was bad. You fed a couple generations of mosquitoes? I, well, I, I feel not even obligated to do a blood donation this year because I've done my part. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, but okay. We're sticking with it. <laughs> Casey, kid's got great form, man. Really yes. good, really good bracing, really good reach back. Keeps playing. Yeah, could come up. A mm-hmm. uh, bunch of threes, like we said. Uh, Nate's still holding on to two strokes over Chandler. He's got five over Mr. Perkins. We're on to our last hole already. We are, and technically the easiest hole on the course. Really? Relative to par. Okay. Um, this does play as a par five for our normal everyday players. Um, bumped it down to a par four. Really just missed the trees. There's a fairway that's going to kind of serpentine right to left, then left to right. So if you're feeling really froggy, you could park it with a flex sidearm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. How about if you're feeling toady? Ooh, then you're just in trouble. We're probably going to find a forest somewhere. Yeah. Nate is throwing his orc. I feel like the litmus test for a course, if it's good or not, is if Nate brings his orc. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. If it's if it's an orc course, I'm in. Yeah, sign me up. A uh, little too much Annie on that one, but he's right in the middle of the fairway. He's going to birdie that all day. Yeah, I mean, it's 422 feet. So if yeah. you can cut it in half even, it's, you have 200 foot upshot. Yeah, come on. Uh, Chandler is going enforcer. 
who I think that's his Chandler Fry stamped. Oh, it is. You are 100% yep. correct. Go pick those up. Yeah. No, yeah. I know. Well, enforcers are great. Candler free is great. Yeah. You got to support the man. Love that guy. Uh, looks like Chandler Fry's lame though. I like that guy. PD two from <laughs> from Nate's. You shush. <laughs> All variations are awesome. I know. I listen just to to tie it together. His uh, Chandler's first appearance on Ulti World Power Rankings. They put him as Candler Fry, and then uh, in our Farragut footage, uh, Peter Mars messed up the spelling in a top ten and called him Chandler Free. Yeah. So Poor guy. We're not getting the respect that man deserves. <laughs> I know. We love you, Chandler. Yeah. Uh, Casey running into some trouble with that criminal and subsequent trouble with the harp. No. Yeah. Here is his third. Got to try and save a par. Still got a yeah. little work to do. Yeah, he's circles edgy. Yeah, he's, he's he hits those. Sexton second shot. Throwing a Flexton. Oh, non-Flexton. Just a straight up Heiser Sexton. Yeah, I like it. And he likes it too. Yeah, I'll take that tap in birdie then. Mm-hmm. There is a firebird from Nate as well. Ooh, catches cage and flies off. I thought that was going to dunk. We all did. Yeah. Uh, Chandler. Looks like an ante up. He got way down there, though. I mean, he has a, He had a legitimate bid. He gave it a Oh, good yeah. One. People say you can get pin high. Oh, yeah. I mean, Chandler could have gotten pin high mm -hmm. if that stayed clean. Uh, Casey, not the way you want to finish. And especially no. not with and this. Don't. Are you serious? Yeah, isn't that wild? What? Just with no reason. Just kept crawling. I know. Had some rhyme, but no reason. Yeah. Perkins from the woods. Good hits for his birdie. It's a good way to finish. Yeah. You know, got the gallery back there. Kyle Sawtell giving him some daps. Battle of the Era's legend, Kyle Sawtell. Such a good dude. <laughs> That's a good way to finish, though, for Casey hitting mm -hmm. that putt. And Chandler still birdies, as will his travel buddy. Nate doubling the course record. Did he really? It was six down. No, it wasn't. He's going to finish at 12. Dang. Yeah. Well, granted, we don't have a lot of 1035 rated players coming in. That's the of the course right yep, there. About to give a him. high five. Giving the high fives. Charlie yeah. is his name. Yeah. Big shout out. He's put in a ton of work out here. We're staying in his cousin's cap or cottage right now. Ooh, really? Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks, Charlie's cousin. Yeah. Yeah. Clean orc. I need to get. I might. I might sneak into his van or his RV. <laughs> take a couple of those pearly orcs. What do you think? He didn't bring the RV, so your SOL. Oh, it's in Sabatis, Actually, he left it there. Oh, Ooh, just, as long just, as we beat him, you can beat him. Yep. Uh, three birdies, that unfortunate bogey for Casey. Um, Nate with a two-stroke lead going into our final round, but Chandler and Perkins are lurking. And who? Who did we pick up? We picked up. DK, Keeks. Dustin Keegan. And remember, that's a two-stroke separation. Chandler beat him by four during round one. Yeah, huh? So it is possible. It is. Uh, Nate Perkins is also a sidearm guy. It's going to play to his advantage. A lot of those gaps are really much easier to hit with a sidearm. Mm -hmm. uh, Dustin's so clean. Ah, I was looking for Thomas Tomcat Gilbert to be on footage at least once. Close. He is going to be on chase guard again. Matthew Enman, Simon Lazat, not really putting it together as much as we thought. Yeah. He's sliding that second card as well. Mm -hmm. Kieran Nichols, Scott Jameson. And of course, Chris Oz Ozalunes. You yeah. know, the people were curious about what he was doing. Uh, four down this round, putting him into the top 10. That's good. Yeah, it's solid. It is. All right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed round two. Uh, round three, we're back out of Hillcrest Farm. Yes, please. Should be a fun watch.